Hey, what's up everyone? Trip to Astrology readings here. I'm just going to read some traditional definitions of some of these aspects that are peaking in the, in the sky right now. This includes Sun Tri Neptune, Mercury Square Mars. I'm going to read a definition of Mars Square Saturn because Mars Semi Square Saturn is happening in the sky. And I'm just going to read these traditional definitions of the aspects that are happening in the sky right now. And from this book that was, you know, written in like the 70s, the traditional astrology book, Planets in Hand by, I mean, Planets in Transit by Robert Hand. So, you know, this is a good perspective for um, just another alternative opinion to my interpretation. It illustrates how accurate you know, astrology is, it's like math, so, I'm going to read you what's happening today. Today, um, we have the peak of Sun sextile Neptune, and this is a definition of that, it's fully active today. This transit arouses your inner idealism and gives you a strong desire to understand a deeper, more spiritual level of reality, both emotionally and intellectually. It is a good time to go off by yourself to think or meditate. Try to use today to get a clearer idea of where you are in life and how well you have fulfilled your spiritual and material needs. It is a good day for quiet study, especially of metaphysical or spiritual subjects. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's a hazy, Neptunian-type day that it's probably good for thinking and reading and learning and appreciating music and, you know, just, just meditating, thinking to yourself. In various ways, your ideals will be appealed to today. Neptune is very idealistic, especially in Pisces. Someone may request your help, or you may be called upon to work for others with no direct or immediate benefit to you except for the satisfaction of doing good work. Maybe. A kind of idealistic romanticism may be a factor in your relationships today, which is perfectly alright if it enables you to experience beauty, but do not let your idealism convince you that your loved ones are more than ordinary humans. Um, on another level entirely, this transit can increase your sensitivity to the subtler aspects of the world around you. Under certain conditions, it can bring on a flash of ESP or some other mystical experience. That's true, that's what Neptune governs. You, you don't want to take it too far in, in, I don't know, well, you know, there's, there's all types of things that could happen in one of these transits. The reason I'm reading you these traditional definitions is so that you can think about it more to understand the dynamic of the Sun, the dynamic of Neptune in Pisces, the dynamic of a sextile, and so you can put the pieces together in your own perception. That's what I'd like to see y'all do. Um, take my words and incorporate that into your perspective and ultimately understand it with your personal understanding, you know, so, um, so I'm just going to reread this, on another level entirely, this transit can increase your sensitivity to the subtler aspects of the world around you, under certain conditions, it can bring on a flash of ESP or some other mystical experience, certainly any type of religious experience will be heightened by this transit, absolutely true, so here's another transit happening today, this is, um, well, I'll read one of the most positive transits happening today. It's one of the ones of the Mercury trine Jupiter, Mercury sextile Venus, Venus sextile Jupiter, T trine complex that I've been talking about. This is one of the ones that's still very heavily active. It's Mercury sextile Venus. Mercury sextile Venus is a traditional aspect of, you know, harmonious friendships and you know, appreciation for the arts and stuff like that, so Mercury sextile Venus. This is not a very intense transit. It will have a light-hearted influence on the day. It's been active for an entire week. Uh, unless a heavier influence from another plan planet overwhelms the effect, it inclines you to use your mind for leisure pursuits, such as reading for amusement, going to an art exhibit or concert, or chatting with friends. Even though these activities may seem somewhat trivial, they are an important part of your life because they give you a chance to to rest between heavier concerns. Do not hesitate to take the day off if you can, and simply relax and enjoy it. So you see, there are multiple circumstances telling you today, to telling me, all of us, today, to pretty much enjoy our friends, enjoy our lives, enjoy our spirituality, Sun, Sextile, Neptune, and the, the circumstance of the holiday 
of New Year's and that little space between Christmas and New Year's from the perspective of a Westerner. You know, it's a time for appreciating the fruits of life, and that's what I recommend right now. You know, I recommend you try to appreciate the fruits of life, and yeah, it's even exemplified by these timeless definitions. So, continuing... This transit is important in another way, for it puts you in touch with your feelings, especially those of love and friendship, especially with Venus and Scorpio. Um, it is important to know that these feelings are present in your life. In other words, even though days like today do not seem very significant, these are the times that justify all the more difficult ones. That is why they, they are important. You gotta appreciate life, you know. Go out and appreciate life today. Sun Sextile Neptune is about appreciating life, appreciating the stars, appreciating life. You know, that's that's what this week this week is about. So uh but also, you know, there's there's another thing active this week, unfortunately. I say the the most negative one for last, I guess. Um this is Mer Mar sorry. Mercury Square Mars. Mercury Square Mars is a classic frustration aspect. It's an aspect that, you know, it's just a classic yearly frustration aspect. So let me read this. This transit can be quite difficult. You are inclined to feel touchy and irritable and to regard almost any communication from another person as a challenge. Yup. And you will make of this attitude so... Okay, I'm gonna reread this. This transit can be. This is fully peaking today and for the rest of this week, unfortunately. Maybe this will inspire people to go off by themselves and find peace without necessarily communicating after expressing appreciation for their people already. Anyway, this transit can be quite difficult. Mercury square Mars. You are inclined to feel touchy and irritable and to regard almost any communication from another person as, as a challenge. And you will make this attitude so clear to people that they may even tread lightly around you for fear of setting you off. Anyone who arouses you will be told off in no uncertain terms. Yep, I see conflicts erupting right now. Of course, this transit has a mild, milder side. It may mean that you will have to defend your ideas or beliefs against someone else. Communication at Mercury versus... Well, Mars is obvious, you know. So, this could be anything from a simple debate to an out, an all-out fight. The worst way to handle this, but what you think, but what you are most likely to do, is to identify your own ego with what you believe or think. This will make you act as if you, your very life were threatened. I don't know about that, but, which of course is not, um... If you have to fight for your beliefs, this transit can be a help, but don't look for a battle or create an issue where none exists. Absolutely true. In other words, this book just said, Mercury Square Mars happens, you know, don't let conflict escalate. I like debating. I, I choose the route of debating and just vowing to not be offended or not be, you know, that, that phased by what people said. I'll debate all day long. Because, you know, it is what it is. So just make sure that tensions don't escalate. And, um... Oh, also, yeah, alright, I'm gonna keep reading, it's longer. As with most transits, you may experience this one in projected form. That is, you may have to contend with another person who is acting touchy or defensive. Um, this transit can indicate accident-prone behavior. If you are not careful, there is a real danger of accidents through burns, uh, walking, or driving. It's actually true. I've seen people have accidents during this transit. To not falsely attribute something, you know, to not fall victim to placebo. I think accidents are slightly more likely now. Most frequently, you will have a feeling of repressed rage, as if some kind of energy inside you is struggling to break free. If you find that you are acting impulsively for no reason at all, try to avoid driving and other forms of travel. Uh, well, I don't think you necessarily need to avoid driving or avoid your problems. That wouldn't be my solution. My solution would be to do it anyway and just be okay. You know, just get through it. So, well, that's some of the stuff happening in the sky right now. Much love. Peace. Much love to all my people. Stay strong as always. Go appreciate the fruits of life. Much love.